mean I'm on a boat? Hello friends, my name is Renee, and welcome back to The Room 2, picking up right where we left off because I can't get enough of this game. Let's go. Loading, 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 and I'm on a boat? I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Everybody look at me cause I'm sailing on a boat! Why am I on a boat? Um, what is that? Why is there a sea monster? Why is there a sea monster? Boy. Take me home. I'm sure to place I believe. Let's begin. They said I don't have to walk up there. I don't think I could do that. I'm glad my uh, character is totally fine with this. Even short journeys can cover a great distance, and by making it to the other side of the crossing, you're now ready for the final step. May good fortune go with you. That is the shortest chapter ever. Okay. Got all kinds of science stuff. That's where I came in. This is probably the least creepy room in the entire freaking game. <sighs> Book, drawer, numbers, screwdriver. Experiment 2.07, subject beta-4, radis radis, subject necrosis significantly halted by a pre-mortem app of serum number 5, temporary musculature reflex restoration, witness with post-mortem electrical stimulation of range 75 to 85 amp, uh, uh, part of the plaque is missing. Why is there ones and twos everywhere? Alright, well I got a screwdriver, that's something. I guess I'm starting off on the right foot. What's all this science? Seems like something electrical I need to do. Experiment 1.27, subject alpha-17, lamprina rata. Subject are responsive to postmortem app of s application of serum number f 04 combined with electrical stimulation of range 10 to 100 MA. Uh, corpus degeneration. De 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 degradation. <laughs> Considerable with high amper. I guess that is amps. Uh, conclusion. Conclude coleoptera unsuitable for further study. Okay, I take it that these are really important things that I should know. Oh. Microscope? Hey, what's that? Oh, you take me out of there if I do that. Okay. I take it this is something I have to look at later, but I don't know what yet. Okay, some sort of microscope, I guess. Hey, it's the null. Uh, yep. A wooden box. What else can I click on? I don't think I can click on anything else over here. What about the science board? I haven't even looked at the box yet. Alright, let's do that, I guess. Oh, there's a lock here. Alright, let's look at this. Um, yep. Okay.
looks like I need to put something there before that can let me in. What's that? Film meal? Oh. This looks like stuff upside down. I don't know why, but it does. There's information here I'm missing. I know that there is. I just don't know what I'm looking for yet. Alright, what are you? Oh. Oh. Give me numbers. Okay, hold on. I got an idea. Um, what were the sign symbols on you? Where did it go? Am I stupid? It was on here, right? Where did the symbols go? Was it on something else? Oh, it was on this box. Dumbass. All right, let's go back over here to the weird thing. And okay. Uh, water, a slash, and then whatever that is. One, seven, uh, three. Yeah. A battery? Okay. Does the battery go in here? Yay, I did a thing. Uh, for better or worse. Battery is now charged. It's a weird ass battery charger. Well, now I have a charged battery. Does it go in here? No. Feels like it should. Maybe it's gotta go in that little box. Maybe I need to put something else in there first. Alright, where else can I put a charged battery? Maybe over here? Yes. Oh! I know what you need to do. Where's the freaking freaking? There you are. Okay. Cool. star shaped handle. That's something. Does this go here? Oh, uh. Take it, I need to spin you using something else. Does this star shaped handle by chance go over here? I believe it does. Wait, did the one have a draw on it too? Hold up. <sighs> Kirken Sanatorium. So this was a crazy house. Dear Professor de Montfasson, while I don't doubt your altruistic motives, your sister's condition is not aided by her continued confinement to your estate. I beg of you to see Madame Lucy return to the sink sanatorium as easily as can be arranged. Yours, Dr. Beckett. Okay. I need... Lovely. 
Oh, bugs. Cool. Yep. Okay. Just a collection of beetles, no big deal. There's a stag beetle missing. There's a lens here. <clears throat> Experiment 5.01. I wonder if that's the date. Subject EH, upper right appendage severed at glenohumeral joint. Necrosis in subject halted completely via pre-mortem application of serum number 5, followed by post-mortem application of serum number 4. Perfect musculature reflex witness with electric stimulus at 77 and 3 fourths amps. Why do I feel like that's going to be really important? Okay, right. I now have a handle and an image drum, which I can put in two different places. So I can put the battery there now. obviously goes here, but I think I need to put something over it. Oh! I pulled it out. Okay. Oh, I see. I needed to pull it out and now I can reflect it. There. Alright, where do you go? There. I feel like I'm playing Men in Black. Um, where is it? <clears throat> Fantastic. And another battery. I need to charge that one too. Medicinal tonic. Experiment 13, subject L, cardiac viscous, uh, necrosis halted indefinitely, manual operation at 77 and 3 fourths amps. Uh, simile? That's what that sounds right. Of life restored with only with proximity to roll null, no further avenues, no way back. Okay. Yep. I'm just gonna take this battery. Hey, got a rhinoceros beetle. Does that help? Cool. Let's go charge this battery in that weird ass battery charger. Exploded. Yeah, this is safe. Where do I get a new fuse from? Where do I discard it? Oh. You don't just have a freaking piece of a broken plaque. Oh, why do you just have a fuse in here? <sighs> okay. Sure, why not? Puzzle game logic. Yeah. Cool. Golden red. Imagine this is gonna be creepy. Because it always is. Oh. 
Yep, that was right. That's code for something else. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's put this over here. Uh, okay. Alright. Um. Oh, I'm missing a handle. beetle. Maybe there's one on the other one, too. Nope, just the one. Okay. Well, you can go back in. Appreciate that. Lovely. Let's go back over here. And a key. Hello. And I know where that key goes if I can remember this uh, lock over here. Please tell me I can't move this. Okay. Um. It's really easy. I've already got it halfway there. Just need to move it to the triangle. Yes! The stag beetle is mine! Oh, great. Another code. Okay, we'll come back to that. I'm just happy to have the damn stag beetle. Wait, do I have to catch the light? No? Okay, so I very obviously know what I'm supposed to do with that. That didn't really help me with... Oh, where are you? Can I take this out? Okay. Um... I need some sort of code. Maybe I can reroute something or someone or something. Uh. Ah, I can. Okay. for my eyepiece. Cool. Welcome. It seems to be my fate to be forever standing on the shoulders of greater men. Montfasson's work here makes mine appear of that of a child, but he never cracked the final secrets to the doors as I have. He carried with him the key all along and he never realized the soul is the root of all null. It comes down to a simple trade, mine for hers and hers for yours. The heart is the seat of the soul. Travel well and don't look back. Whatever you see here, don't ever look back. Ah. Oh. Huh, okay. So three goes to that weird little diamond. Fair enough. They're all over the place. 
one goes to the triangle. Oh, there's the last one. One is the triangle, two is the double pyramid. Oh, there's multiple triangles. Game complete. Congratulations. Congratulations. You have completed the room too. Where many have faltered, you have succeeded in discovering the many mysteries held within this most unique space. You fled the laboratory and escaped the confounded house where it all began. After much scientific study, I can only conclude that it is an absolute impossibility that the null sample under my custody is the only one in existence. It stands to reason that there must be a great number of somewhere coordinated samples somehow coordinated samples which exert some form of control over these curious events. Professor de Montfasson, 19th of November, 1903. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing and purchasing the room too. We hope you enjoy it. A uh, small independent game developer, we truly believe in the power of word of mouth and goodwill from everyone who plays our game, so please let us know what you thought of the room too by recommending it or writing a review on our Steam page. We sincerely value your support and feedback by purchasing and recommending the room too, and you are helping independent games keep independent games development alive fireproof games yes it's just yes just yes oh that was so cool okay <sighs> well i think that's uh that's enough for the room two and we're gonna go into the room three yeah after this so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next episode of whatever it is i make learn and setting out bye